Good morning guys. What's up guys? Welcome to this video. It is 7.15 in the morning. I just woke up as you can see. So this will be a real full day in the life when I work. I'm gonna show you my whole day and show you exactly what I eat during a working day. So basically during my working days, I don't eat much. I don't eat the whole day. When I come home, I just eat like one or two meals. And that's what I said with not counting. But you will see that at the end. And also I'm not gonna show you my physique of today. I will film my physique on Saturday morning because yeah, I don't have really time to film my physique now I need to go. So yeah, here's my physique of Saturday and my weight I will probably be under the 85 kilograms already. It's on the 21st October. Let's see the weight I sat under the 85, but I am under the 84 kilograms. I said I would weigh under the 85, but I'm weighing under the 84 kilograms. And this is the leanest I have been in a long, long time. I'm leaner than my last summer shredding cut because I weighed in at 85 kilograms the lowest, but now I'm 83.9 and I can't believe it because it's just going too fast for my opinion. My goal was 85 until December, I'm now 83.9. But yeah, here's my physique so far. I'm gonna keep it quick, short, showing you it, updating you. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting really lean. You can see the veins, muscles, fibers, the ass. Skin is just getting thinner and thinner. Really, really satisfied with the cut. <sighs> see that? <laughs> And I have no carbs in me at all. I just woke up. I look the leanest in the morning, but I don't feel the hardest because I just have no calories. And today is my cheat meal. <laughs> this will ruin the progress, but I really need a cheat. But yeah, here's my physique. You can just see, guys, I'm getting lean. Really satisfied with how it's going. And I can't complain. The back now. It's almost Christmas, guys. So I gotta bring the Christmas tree out. Yeah, back pose. Oh yeah, really satisfied with the cut. The abs are getting back, guys. This is how I look so far. I think five and a half, so almost six weeks in this cut. Really, really satisfied. Started at 90 kilograms, now under the 484, so almost like six kilograms. In six weeks is really good, really, really good. So yeah, that's it, guys. My physique of this week. Sit back and just enjoy this video. Getting leaner and leaner by the day. Obliques. Feeling really good. And I shouldn't even take it that serious until December. It's going too fast. It's going too fast. This is my morning when I go to work. I wake up at like 7 o'clock. I brush my teeth. I do my morning, morning things. I didn't do my hair. Because yeah, I'm not in the mood to do my hair. Because there are like no chicks at work. So why should I do my hair? But yeah, I do have something in the morning. I'm not having my usual coffee. I'm having tea. So I'm having this yellow label tea. I already made it so it could cool off. There we go, got my tea. And also I did add two sweeteners to it because I don't use sugars and I want a sweet tea. And I'm gonna have, as always, my water. Go and grab my apple cider vinegar. That will do. Shake it up and guys, every morning I have my water. Even when I work, even this early in the morning, I'm drinking water. This is my tip, my go-to energy source for the morning because after this bottle, my body wakes up and I have just a lot of energy. So let's chug it. I really do chug the water. And I know a lot of people say don't chug water, not in the morning, it's not good for you. But I've been doing this literally for two years, every single morning. Even during my holidays, I drink a liter of water in the morning because I just feel so good. You can see my mood is already getting up. I really feel good after drinking or chugging water because your body exists of like 72% of water. And what does it need more? Just water. And when you feel hungry in the morning, that's the thing you're not in need for food you are needing water so that's why I chug my water 
<sighs> so this is my morning. I have 10 minutes to go to work. I'm gonna sit here, enjoy my tea. I'm gonna watch some news. Just slowly wake up. The water already gave me energy, gave me life. It's like really boring when I work. I'm gone the whole day. It's like 7.30 now. I will be home at like 5 o'clock. So my day is really short after that. But yeah, I just wanted to film this, show you what my day looks like. And just show you how my diet looks like. Because I don't eat much during work. I don't eat anything. I only have an apple and a protein shake. You will see that in a second. When I come home, I make my first meal. But my first meal is just really healthy. And like not high in calories, but you will see that in this video. But yeah, let's get the day started. guys i turn on the music and i just sing in the morning it's seven o'clock almost eight o'clock in the morning and i'm just full of energy and that's because of my water just imagine imagine if i have my coffee i will be like a out of control so yeah i'm ready to work okay okay i need to calm down people i gotta think i'm crazy let's head to work shall we it's a beautiful day got some tunes on ready to go ready to to work and I'm excited to show you this day it's gonna be simple guys let's go games for days Da -da -pa -pa -da -pa. here I come I'm just I just arrived at work it's now 8 o'clock in the morning I have to work at like 8 o'clock so I'm right on time <gasps> oh yeah I'm not gonna film too much at work might show you some clips here and there what I do but it's basically like magazine logistics stuff but yeah I'm ready to work like eight to ten hours not really to be honest but yeah I gotta do it these days cheat days are expensive and I'm really excited for this weekend because I'm gonna have my cheat meal and I'm so ready for it but yeah that is nothing to say so I'm gonna gonna head inside, do my things, and I will check in with you after I'm done. Yeah guys, I'm having my first break of the day, it's now 9.30. For those who don't know, I work in a pie factory. We make mostly pies, but I'm in the background of the company. I do like pallet logistics stuff, so I'm just putting everything on the pallets, making sure everything that comes in from the boxes, ingredients and stuff goes to the right place in the company. Nothing too special, but hey, I get my money, so I'm happy. So our first break, I'm gonna chug again half of this bottle, one and a half liters right now. There we go, half of this bottle is gone. And I'm a really big fanatic of water and I preach water to everyone, especially when you're dieting. Yeah, I'm gonna have a coffee after this, I'm not gonna eat anything. First break, gotta have 50 minutes, enough to relax a bit. So I will check in with you in my second break.
It's now almost 4 o'clock and I'm done for the day. Alrighty, I'm done. Let's go home. Like that my day is over that's what you get when you work full-time you're gone the whole day and now basically your day start not eating anything besides the apple and the protein shake so let's make my meal and I'm back home 4:50. I'm hungry I'm gonna make my first meal and again today I'm just not gonna track and that is what I've been doing but I eat really clean so in this day right now I'm gonna show you how I make my meal so I'm gonna have vegetables this whole head of broccoli I'm gonna have chicken breast two chicken breasts. I'm gonna have some avocado and I'm gonna have let's see toast so I'm gonna have two toast Two slices of bread with avocado, chicken and broccoli, that's gonna be it. As you can see, I don't have a food skill, so I'm gonna film like this. First off, I'm gonna boil the broccoli, and I'm gonna show you everything. Just show you how simple it is. So I've got the broccoli here, I'm gonna cut it up. The whole head as that, like that. Just gonna wash it a bit, and I'm just gonna boil it. Take my boiling water so it's quick up, just a little bit in there. And that's it, my broccoli is going and now I'm gonna take my chicken and I need to wash it before I use it. So here we go, chicken. Take my cutting board and I'm gonna cut off all the fat, excess fat from the chicken. I do it mostly because I don't like the chewiness. For example, this tenderloin, you can see the white piece, right fat piece here. I'm just gonna cut it off because I don't like the chewiness. So there we go, all the excess fat, I cut off the chicken. I'm gonna take some olive oil and my Pam spray and you guys, I'm not weighing out anything. A little bit of olive oil, just a little bit in there. Spread it around. So this is the olive oil I use. And I'm gonna spray as well some but Pam spray for the buttery taste. Today I'm just craving a simple seasoning, Vegeta seasoning. Salty seasoning on top of the chicken and the tenderloins. And this one. There we go, that is done. And I'm just gonna fry the chicken. So there we go. This piece I'm gonna leave aside for another day because I don't want too much chicken. I'm just gonna put it in a bag, close it, and I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for tomorrow. Got the broccoli boiling, got my chicken right here, and no, I'm not gonna have this schnitzel. schnitzel. That's not for me, not for me. So I've got the toaster here, and I'm gonna take two slices of this bread, whole wheat bread, I think my favorite bread. Here we go, in the toaster, I'm gonna toast it up. Got one big chicken breast, I'm gonna turn it around, and I got three tenderloins. And yes, I did use oil, and no, I didn't weigh it out. My favorite meal these days is just avocado and toast. So again, not weighing out anything, I'm gonna have the whole avocado. Just gonna scoop it out, put it in a bowl, the whole avocado. There we go, and I'm just gonna mash it up. As simple as that. Just gonna add a little bit of sea salt because I love it. Sea salt in there, mix it around, and this is done. The broccoli as well is done. Just gonna do it in cold water so it doesn't boil any further. There we go, I'm gonna drain it. It's cold, completely cold, so it doesn't cook further. I'm gonna take a towel, I'm just gonna put it on the towel, let it drain, so it's not too wet. So the toast is done already, I'm gonna take it off, move the toast up, take a new plate, let's go, I'm gonna grab a plate, another one. So on this one the toast will go, and I'm just gonna take the avocado, divide it on the two toasts. So there we go. This is just the best thing, the avocado 
and toast. Mmm, so delicious. On this, I'm gonna grab my handy dandy low fat mayonnaise, only 5.3 grams of fat. So it's pretty low fat. And I'm just gonna put it on the toast. This is my best combo ever. Delicious combo, avocado and toast. So this is done. Keeping it raw, guys, keeping it raw. I'm gonna cut up the broccoli in smaller pieces. It's more enjoyable to eat for me. So there we go, cut up, and I'm gonna microwave it for like 30 seconds. So there we go, that is done. Take it out, turn the camera again. Now, I'm gonna take some of this low-fat spring onion cream cheese, put it on the broccoli, some dollops. Put the broccoli on one side. Delicious chicken. With that. Go on the chicken, my low fat cheese, just a little bit, not too much. There we go. And now, just the best part I need to ruin this meal. So, I'm gonna add a lot of mayonnaise, my ketchup, reduced sugar on there, and I'm gonna have some spice, some sriracha. And that's it guys, this is my meal. My first meal of the day is done within like 20 minutes. It is now 16.39. As simple as that, I made my first meal. Got chicken, got my protein, vegetables, and I've got my fats with some carbs. Really simple, I just want to show you a raw day in the life of how I've really been eating and I've not weighed out anything. Now let's enjoy. I know guys, it doesn't look appealing, but this is how I enjoy my meals. When you're dieting, you don't care about how it looks, you care about the taste, and this tastes amazing. How simple do you want it? But guys, I just wanted to show you a raw day in the life, and I work like five, sometimes even six days out of the week, and this is how I eat on those days. When I'm free, and when I film a full day of eating, I like to show you other meals, but this is really how I've been eating. I don't track anything, I don't weigh out anything, I just eat by feels, and I know for sure, and you will see after this day, what I eat is below my maintenance calories, and that's why I lose a lot of weight, even when having like cheat days or cheat meals. This is really my day of eating, and this is how I get lean. I eat my vegetables at least six times out of the week. I eat my protein mm, every single day, and when I eat fat, I eat the healthier fats most of the time. I've been really enjoying avocado and toast with mayonnaise. This is like my favorite meal for now. Just whole wheat bread, especially whole wheat bread and avocado and just the taste of mayonnaise. Mm. It's just on point. 4.45, my first meal is done. So normally I come home way later, but today I decided to come home earlier to film some stuff for you and just to talk with you and show you my day. But yeah, first meal is down. I have one more dessert and here it is. It is now almost six o'clock and before I can have my meal, I gotta take it out of the fridge right here. So the main part of my dessert will be this spicy quark. So this is like a low fat yogurt type of thing. 0.2 grams of fat, 4.1 carbs and 12 grams of protein per 100 gram. I'm gonna have like half of it. So I'm gonna take this quark, turn on the light and I'm gonna put it in this freezer for about like two hours. Let it freeze up a bit so it's like ice cream when I have it later on the night. So six o'clock, I will check in with you in a second. I've got my glass on, it's getting late, but before I show you my meal, I just want to show you my physique when I have just a little bit of carbs. You saw my physique this morning, that was really flat, so I had no calories in that clip, but here is my physique now, with just a little bit of calories, and I saw it in the mirror, my veins are coming out a little bit, I am getting, or feeling a bit harder, but you can see just more of the muscles, the fibers, you can see everything moving. Look at the obliques, they're just coming out. I'm getting really lean, guys. I think I'm getting leaner than I want to get before December, but it's a good sign, it's a good sign. It's a sign I can have more cheat days before December. But yeah, this is what I want to show you when I have just a little bit of carbs. And yeah, just imagine me getting on stage like this, even more shredded. I can't wait for that. <sighs> Pushing all the air out. 
Yes, I know I have some fat and water. I'm holding water and some fat. Here we go. Side triceps. Oh yeah. Shoulders, the obliques, abs. <sighs> my back is just my strongest point and here it is. Just look at it. It is getting hard. The details are coming out more. The Christmas tree. Oh yeah. But only my biggest issues, my arms. They're just really small, especially my biceps. But yeah, here's my back. See the Christmas tree, triceps. I just also need to work on my traps. Those are the things I really need to work on. The width is there, but you can see the traps are like not as visible as, as my lats or something else. But yeah, my back getting lean, getting really lean. I am leaner in the morning, but I have more veins and I look harder at night because of the calories. Now for real, here is my dessert. It's seven o'clock at night. Let's take, make this dessert. So I'm gonna take out my quark out of the freezer, let's see where it is. Take it out. It has been in the freezer for over two hours and this will be my dessert. I have every single night and it's my healthy ice cream. So first of all, I've got the quark, banana, I'm gonna have some flavor drop, this zero sugar added, gingerbread, and some peanut butter. Again, you can see I have no skill. So first off, I always start with my gingerbread and I'm gonna have one and a half slices of this gingerbread. Just gonna crumble it in the bowl first one and a half of the gingerbread and for those who wonder here are the macros for this gingerbread i'm gonna use a little bit more than half of this container i estimate about 300 400 grams of this quark so this will let's a little bit more so this will do of course the quark is really sour and not so tasty to eat so i'm gonna add some flavor drops for my protein toffee flavor just a couple drops on there I love a little bit more than your normal or average guy or girl because I'm a big sweet tooth. Slightly mix it, not over mix it because I just want those chunks of gingerbread. So like that, this will do. Not over mix it. The last of the gingerbread crumble on top so you can see it. Take a banana, a really ripe banana which is also sweet. So again, a serving of fruit for the day. I've got my protein, some carbs and I will have my fats from the peanut butter. And now as last, I've got my peanut butter and I'm just gonna do a really big tablespoon like that, just in the middle. And that is, this is my dessert for the night and what I have every single night. So let's go upstairs and enjoy it. Yes guys, I'm excited to eat this. It's now 7.30, I'm gonna finish this day with this high protein snack. I'm gonna finish it off guys with this puffed wheat. I'm not sure what this is, but it's kinda like puffed rice, but they like a whole wheat version. And here are the macros, they are really, really good. This whole bag is 160 grams, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on top. And this will give a crunch to the bowl and it will be even tastier. So here we go guys, it looks delicious. I'm having this every single night and it's just on point. People have been asking me, what is that dessert you have every single night? And this is it guys, this is how I made it. It's just basically quark that I put in the freezer and it's like ice cream. I added some flavor drops, peanut butter, it's just insanely good. And on top I have some crunch from the whole wheat durum and it's really delicious and I have like a new bag right here and you can see this whole bag weighs 160 grams and per 100 grams it's only 70 grams of carb low fat basically no fat and high in protein 13 grams of protein per 100 grams so it's really good really healthy and this is my snack it's later on the night and this is what I have every single night after my first meal chicken meal mmm my dessert and this is just so tasty Mmm, especially with the peanut butter and banana, the crunchy puffed wheat, my go-to dessert. Mmm, I just, I just love it, no joke. Mmm, mm, the banana. I can enjoy this so much. High in protein, low carbs, just healthy option for sweets. Mm. And with this bowl, I will finish up my full day of eating and this video. It is now almost 8 o'clock. I like to finish my days at around like 8 o'clock, 8.30. And that's basically it, guys. You've seen my meals. You've seen my whole day. I've worked the whole day. Didn't eat anything. Came home. Had my first meal. Now this. And that's it, guys. I'm not. I'm really satisfied after this meal. Hitting my sweet tooth. Hitting my cravings with the peanut butter banana. It's just on point. Boy, I need to see more. Not that hard, guys. I just drink a lot of water. I had like... 
like four of these bottles in a whole day chugging it in the morning which is my biggest tip that i will give you try it out guys try start with like one glass then have two glasses but don't go overboard just have one liter at the maximum in the morning and you will feel so much better trust me guys you can see the abs are coming in even with like one meal or two meals a day and i'm having my weekly cheats and i'm so so ready for my weekly cheat it's gonna be the same as last week just gonna have a really big meal eating it all at once because that is something i crave and i just need it the lack of energy is there my strength is going down and i just need a cheat meal as soon as possible so guys this is the end of the video if you enjoyed it and you already know right now what my secret is what my dessert is please try it out if you like this video come on hit that thumbs up button so i know you enjoyed it comment something down below on what i should have for my next cheat meal if you're new to my channel please guys subscribe on my youtube channel i show you all my tricks and tips on how to get lean and especially the food porn is just on point so subscribe on my youtube channel at live life follow me on instagram you can see the behind the scenes of these these things and my daily stuff at darko Boone. And if you want to be the first on these videos, turn on your notification bell right there and you will be notified when the videos are up. Guys, I hope you have a great day, great night, whatever it is in life. Do what you want. Do it now. I dare you. Live life. Peace.